Good morning. Good morning to all peace workers and good morning to life and the rising sun. I'm sitting here in Tamara at the ancestors place. I can see already the first leaves. The sun is there. And I took the card. Gratitude. Thank you. Uh, yes, the thankfulness. And I'm sitting here at the ancestors' place because yesterday a beloved soul left this planet, our friend Michael Berkov, and we were with him when he passed over. And my heart is, of course, full of grief. It's challenging to say goodbye to someone whom you love and to face also the sickness what he is passing through. But mainly my heart is really full of gratitude gratitude that we have the possibility here to be together in these processes, to support each other, that we can face natural birthing and natural dying, that this is part of life. And Michael left wise, wise words in his last days. He recognized a lot of patterns which are holding us back to live our life really and how he spoke, it was very enriching for all the ones who were close to him. And then I'm so thankful for this place here. We call it Ancestors Place. And that we have the possibility to connect with all the ones who passed over. That we see that we together, the ones who are in the other space already, and the ones who are in body, in flesh here, that we together are weaving the net of a new earth, that we together in a kind of deep listening can meet in our heart the beauty of life, the abundance of life. And I give gratitude that we are able to connect with the vision of a healthy planet Earth. And I'm so thankful also for the last week where we had this deep listening and where we can train ourselves that we even in moments where we are reacting we can stay in this moment of really deep listening and what a new kind of life will unfold if we are ready to see the differences and to stay with them and to nevertheless hold the unity of life in our heart unity if we learn to anchor our heart in this unity it's much more easy to see the beauty of polarity it's much more easy to that we can stay with differences and nevertheless have a loving heart so i invite all of us to be this week really to train ourselves to stay in gratitude and also in the moments where it's challenging, where there is reaction, that we are aware gratitude is a medicine of life. It helps us to connect with the awareness, with the now, with the here, with the acceptance, with presence. And I'm full of gratitude also to name this, that there are deep talks now and from politicians and we hold it in prayer that the ceasefire will be the result. That we hold it in prayer that we as human beings allow ourselves to see the failure, how we created systems of war and how we now can remember the way of community, how we can inhabit this planet Earth as community in all the diversity. And I'm very thankful for the last week where I had the possibility to speak deeply with Israelis, with Palestinians about the vision what I received to, to meet together Germans, Israelis, Palestinians hold from internationals to face our trauma, our collective trauma, which made this war going on since such a long time and to see and awaken the possibility that we can transform the trauma together and can listen to the voice of the earth how this beautiful area wants to be lived 
in transparency and trust and mutual support. May we face ceasefire. And I envision, I dare to envision that we will sit in front of the memorial and full of gratitude that ceasefire happens now, that we lay the weapons down and really listen from all different sides how peace can be unfolded. Thank you for this possibility. Thank you that we are here at this planet in this challenging time and that we can connect with the thankfulness for life and for the beauty of birthing and dying in a natural way and be with the secret of life. I wish all of, I wish all of us a blessed week. Yasim. Yeah,